Hey, you guys, hello there. So if you like scary movies, one of the best in a long time opens up today. Take a look at my Dean's List reviews. There's certain rules to surviving. Believe me, I know. The killer is a part of something in the past. This one just feels different. Back in 1997, a new breed of horror movie was unleashed with the now iconic Scream with a ghost-faced killer ravaging a small town and its young inhabitants, including Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, and David Arquette. Now the trio returns with a new naive cast who become the prey for the new but same old killer. The formula for the movie is intentionally similar to most of the others. It's because this version of Scream takes the genre and deals with it as part of the storyline, explained as if the murders in the town and the suspects are playing it out like a predictable horror movie. It's part of the genius of this movie. It's super self-aware, spoofing, honoring, and furthering the elements of the franchise that allow it to go to predictable places, but at the same time makes fun of it all. Now, there's no shortage of creepy characters, shocks, and white-knuckling moments that would make the franchise's original director, the late Wes Craven proud and it's great to see the legacy actors back and in pretty substantial roles in the movie. Horror films aren't usually my favorite genre because there's usually not much to them except blood and gore and this has those but it also has a level of cleverness that's usually missing in these movies. I give it a Dean's List B plus it's in theaters only. He thought I heard a voice cry sleep no more. Are you a man? And a bold one. That day, look upon that which might have all the devil. Also this week, there's Shakespeare's The Tragedy of Macbeth. You may remember it from an English class from back in the day. The story of greed and lust and power and the willingness to do anything to achieve it. Here, you're basically watching a stage play that's been filmed, but from the perspective of a master class in acting, from two-time Oscar winner Denzel Washington with the equally brilliant Frances McDormand. Her real-life husband, Joel Cohn of the Cohn Brothers fame, directs this Dean's List A in select theaters and also on Apple TV+. Plus. You can always get my weekly movie reviews sent right to your phones every week just by texting the word Dean to 97999. Sponsored by the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, presenting three weeks of concerts led by Ricardo Muti, now through January 29th. Get tickets at CSO.org.